Hello and oh, welcome back to The Stronghold. This is the Magi and folks, we made it. Uh, Phyrexia All Will Be One season is coming to a close. Um, at this point, uh, Mom will have dropped by the time you're hearing this. Uh, but Phyrexia All Will Be One is still the quick draft option. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go over my own results, which uh, very briefly were pretty good. I did cut the season a little bit short, and uh, I did come up a little bit short on the gems for the Mastery Pass, but that's why I keep a cushion. So when I feel like I want to cut a particular season short, I have the flexibility to do so. Uh, all in all, I had a uh, 2.4 win per event average, which is a pretty strong. And uh, I think I came up with 1,500 gems. The, uh, the exact results will be in the comments, of course. Uh, but all in all, pretty successful. But I am looking forward to the change coming around with Mom. But before we get into all that... We here at The Stronghold are officially on the road to 1,000 subs. And guess what? When we get there, we're going to give away an account. So if you're part of the two-thirds of viewers that routinely watch my content but haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and get in, player, because uh, we're going to be doing some magic. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, right. I, of course, as always, I'm going to be doing some value draft here. Uh, so I am more concerned about adding cards to my collection than I am about uh, building a theoretically winning deck. And it doesn't get much better than a mythic sword on that. Uh, not sure that that's going to get run in uh, today's event whatsoever, but it certainly could. Uh, Volt Charge, great card here. Probably not something I am looking at, though, because I want to hit those uncommons while I can. So I think I'm going to pick up a Canker Bloom here and uh, see if we can keep going here. Tainted Observer, they're, they're saying this is, this is pretty good, and um, I'm... I'm just not in love with blue for this set. I might be completely wrong. So I don't feel like either of these uncommons are really doing a whole lot for me. Um, what I do think is pretty good here is the Batter Fist, um, as well as uh, Bone Picker Scourge. Uh, I think I would rather go Scourge here. And uh, sure, I'm going to take a late rare, but uh, I don't see where that is going to get run rung, uh, excuse me run in this format uh drown and icker pretty darn good that's my third copy here and i'm pretty excited to be adding those to the to the collection uh injector feels really underwhelming to be honest uh finisher i think is a, a much better uncommon i'm not sure if i'll end up running red here or not um, expand the sphere is uh, is kind of underwhelming, honestly, but um, I will go ahead and pick that up just for the uncommon value. And uh, let's see here, what we're down to all commons. So uh, scourge feels like the best card here. That's where we're gonna go. That's actually our second copy in this draft. That's pretty nice. Uh, re reject imperfection. Uh, free from flesh. I mean, there's some decent stuff here, but honestly, I think I'm going to take the uncommon value here. Uh, the finisher could be pretty good. Uh, ruthless predation and uh, fleshless gladiator, both very, very strong here. And uh, let me see. Um, all right, so I have no gladiators and I have one predation. So, uh, yeah, I think... Hmm. I'm actually not very strong in green at the moment. Um, but I do think I'm going to take the, uh, the predation there. And uh, sure, I'll take a late observer. I'm, uh, I'm probably not going to run that. Uh, let's see here, uh, Vraska's Fall, Centurion, pretty good. 
Uh, I think the Centurion is the better card here. I, I don't know that I'm going to end up running red. Uh, Edict is pretty decent. I don't love it in limited, but it is what it is. And an injector. Sure, we'll go ahead and throw that injector down. A, uh, a dual land. That is a beautiful, I think, third rare here. And uh, Wellspring, I believe makes uh number four that's uh that's a really solid draft right there in and of itself um the rot priest not a bad uncommon here i think we will go ahead and pick that up um i think thicket uh i think these red cards probably not getting played here we we definitely have some stuff that is uh that is not going to do anything for us uh, the Sky Warden is probably the best card here, honestly. Uh, followed by Edict and uh, Apostle isn't terrible by any means. Um, do I just take the Skyward here knowing I'm not going to play it? Or do I just go ahead and, and pick up another Edict? Um, I mean, it seems like we're not having any problem drafting Edicts. Um, the Apostle is pretty good, but I mean, clearly I'm not in white. Yeah, I think I am just gonna take the uh, the Sky Warden here. I mean, we've got a good amount of red. We we could end up running that. And, uh, and here's another one, Fusling. Uh, Fleshless Gladiator, probably a better card, but Fusling is just gonna be harder to come by and replace. Uh, the Brutalizer, on the other hand, that is a windmill slam, both for the collection and our deck. And, oh boy, what do, what do we take here? Uh, I mean, I guess the Hive Master is probably the best card here. I mean, the Finisher is not bad, but uh, I think I'd rather have the Hive Master. And what do we got here? Sack? Sure, we'll take a Sack. And the Grimnark is okay, Inquiry also okay, but Fusling is, uh, is just a nice uncommon. And uh, actually we've ended up with so much good red that if we were building the deck right now, we'd be splashing red. So let's, let's keep that in mind as we move forward here. Um, I think Centurion is probably better than long legs. Yeah, I think that is that is the correct play here. And another Scourge. Um, yeah, wow, we've already got two of those going on. And uh, I do think it is head and shoulders above all the rest of these. I'm a little surprised it's in there this late. Um, Apostle of the Invasion, sure, I'm going to go ahead and take that. I don't think it's going to get played here. Uh, Barb Fist, just in case we do end up running some red. And Copper Long Legs to finish out pack two. Feels pretty decent. Uh, another Mythic. I'm, uh, I'm a huge fan of this draft so far. Uh, so Grape Gorger, that's an awesome pick too because it, it gives us the option to maybe run red if we so desire. Another Observer, uh, boy, uh, this would have been the time to test that, I guess. Um, the Sky Warden or Resistance, uh, all pretty decent. And uh, I don't know, do I take the Observer? Hmm. Tough choice, tough choice. Um, okay, I definitely want to take an uncommon. So uh, let's take let's take uh, the Sky Warden here just to add that to the collection. I don't know that I'll end up playing it, but it is what it is. Um, Halberd, wow, uh, another really solid red card. And uh, Cinder Slash is another windmill here. Uh, Cacophony Scamp also very good. I don't know. Do we do we maybe drop Black and go Ravager? I mean, this could happen. 
Uh, Crawling Course is fantastic. Nahiri Sacrifice is one of those uncommons I'm willing to pass and feel pretty good about it. Um, the Aspirant is probably the most solid card here. Again, we're getting more and more red and uh, possibly dropping black out here. And I don't know, do I take the Aspirant or the Finisher? That is, that is a tough call right there. Uh, Reservoir, also very, very good. All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna take the Aspirant and, uh, and look for red artifacts. Uh, that, that would seem to be uh, Cackler is okay. We're not really strong in oil at this point. Um, do we take a Underwhelming Engraver or the Cackler or a Maze's Mantle? Well, we have a ton of Cacklers, so, and we have the Engraver, so I think then we take the Maze's Mantle. And here we are with mostly black cards now. Interesting. Um, I think we've accidentally ended up with another uh, weird tri-color deck, and we don't have any fixing. Uh, so this is this is pretty scary. Um, really Drown and Nicker is the only card the AI is wanting us to run at this point. Um, so we could go with something like the Engulfer maybe uh, to try and boost up our green numbers or, um, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do here. Let's just try and get a little bit more green. Uh, that Drowned Acre is gonna be a hard thing for the AI to push out though. Uh, we'll go with the long legs here. Cultivator just feels so underwhelming, but okay, we'll go for that. Um, crescendo, sure. Don't need either one of these cards, but this one has legs, so we'll go with that. And a scamp, all right. So the AI is still wanting us to splash uh, Drown in Icker with, uh, with no fixing. That feels really uh, questionable to say the least. So I think maybe we put in our red cards here. And uh, let's cut black. We just didn't get quite enough black, I think, to make that useful. All right, so this is this is what we've got. Uh, Sulfim. Yeah, okay, we, we can run that. All right, so we need to cut uh, four cards here. Uh, so let's cut the two long legs. Um, the Axiom Engraver. I think the Cultivator is a pretty easy cut. And do we cut our Engulfer? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, wait, that's that's too many. Oh no, what do I put back? Um, I mean, I guess the long legs put one of those back. All right, let's take the first spin. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, should I do a quick drafts every time I hit? Um, yeah, I would say uh, doing quick drafts is probably your best way to build your collection. Um, and certainly doing the newer sets is going to be more valuable to you right now if you're, you're just starting out and wanting to build up your collection. So uh, Dominary United Brothers War and Phyrexia all will be one. That's where your focus wants to be right now. Um, and, uh, you know, the quick drafts rotate about every two weeks, about every other Friday. 
Uh, so if you're not liking what you're seeing, it's okay to hold on to that 5,000 gold and wait for the next rotation. Uh, right now, all will be one will be the draft option about every two weeks. And then the off weeks, it'll rotate through those older sets. Um, I do not love this opening hand. I really don't. This is this is a lot of late creatures, and uh, we we may have done a terrible job uh, drafting this particular environment. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see what we come up with. I am going to mulligan this. Uh, scamp into batter fist is is just way better. Uh, what am I giving up here? I think we give up the predation. I believe that is what we do. And they're playing blue. Because apparently that's what everyone does other than me. But I tell you, I really don't see much in the way of blue in uh, in higher ranks. Uh, once you get beyond a, a couple of wins, you just don't see it all that much. So uh, again, to my thinking, that is a clear indication of what's going on. Um, let's see, I think we, we batter fist up. They did prism on their turn. Kind of digging that. It's feeling pretty good so far. Uh, turn three, playing the sword feels pretty decent. And they are they are just throwing out artifacts. So this has got to be that uh, blue white artifacts matter. So I guess we find out does it actually matter. Um yeah, that's uh that's unfortunate. Um all right. What do what do we want to do here? Uh do we want to sword or canker bloom? I think we canker blue mostly to get the body on the field and uh, we'll go ahead and swing in with the scamp here just to just to keep the hurt locker rolling and uh, sure we'll end turn there I should have gone ahead and equipped batter fist that was a waste of mana that's what I get for attempting to multitask And, uh, and 19 uncommons there, sure. Uh, that's an interesting turn of events right there. Let's see what they want to do about this. If they want to double block that, I think I'm totally okay with it. Take it, and uh, we're gonna put some beef on the table. Uh, we will end turn.
Hey, hey, how we doing, man? Hope you're, uh, well, for me, it's a rainy afternoon. I don't, I don't know what you got going on where you are. Let's see, uh... All right, they're they're gonna bring pain, and um, I am I am just gonna take it. That is that is totally okay by me. I will take a poison counter. Ooh, he's he's a beefy one. Uh, sure. Well, that solved a problem. Hmm, I cannot uh, set up the, the sword and uh, equip it in the same turn. That is unfortunate. Turn things sideways, because that is that is generally a thing that works out pretty decently. Uh, so we're we're gonna uh, take a trade here. Uh, we'll say next. Play a land. Let's get the sword out there. Feels pretty good. Scourge. They do have some air force here, and that is uh, that is becoming concerning. Oh no, that's uh, that's interesting. See what they want to do about this. Let's let's just see. Okay, not what I expected. Okay. Oh, right, he's going to drop that off. I forgot about that. Sure. That is, that is definitely a thing I'm willing to take. Gonna have to block here. Decent. I'll take that. Uh, 
And they are down to the Uno. And maybe they're going to try and uh, poison counter us out. I mean, not being able to swing their Scourge is definitely going to make that more difficult. Ooh, that's a, that's a decent trick. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, okay. We might just lose this from tempo, I don't know. Be better with haste. Ow. So we're looking at two, they're looking at six. Um, that's not too shabby. Like that to deal with the scourge. That could be uh, that could be quite nice. beat insurance for next turn. Because pretty much if he swings the Scourge here, he's dead. Yep, okay, there we go. Game number one in the books. We have exceeded bind packs. Bronze tier one. Yes, baby. That is what we're talking about. Let's see here, that is uh, one win and zero losses so far. And uh, Micromancer, very cool. Uh, all right, let's do it again. Let's go game numero dos here. Albert, pretty decent. We've got some some good four drops going on. I mean, either one of those is pretty brutal. Um, so, all right, let's uh, let's set out turn one. Unfortunate. Where were you, turn one, sir? Where were you? All right, 2-2, two, two, first strike trample. Not the worst thing in the world. What is our opponent doing? They, they really want to kill our halberd, I guess? I don't know. They have, they have decided to move on. Probably a good move. We got uh we got some mana coming together here. Let's let's swing two. Feels like the correct move here. Right. 
raptored. Um, okay, let's, um... Let's send our boy here. Yeah, okay. And uh, now we will brutalize them. I wonder if anyone has ever been able to pay the kicker on that to proliferate. Or if it's ever mattered. I don't think I've ever had the, uh, the mana to do it when I wanted to or a need to do it. Sure, Raptor. That is definitely a thing you can do. He got blazed, baby. Blazed. Um, do we mantle? Now, uh, let's cancel in case they... Wait, do I have this until end of turn? Next turn. Okay, so I, I get to keep that. Feeling like we kind of control the game state at the moment. Feels good. Uh, we'll end the turn. Skitterling. Okay. You're still not really anywhere near corrupted. Ooh, yeah, that's uh that's gonna feel bad right there. That's that's why you hold that. He does get to proliferate, absolutely. Yep. Let's just uh, get in for some damage. He should block something. Yep. And uh, let's let's just get a big beefy Phyrexian horror out on the field. Because that feels like a thing I want to do right now. Unless they have some kind of board wipe, uh, I feel like their path to victory here is, uh, is closing up on them pretty bad. So he's looking at five next turn, even if he blocks effectively. Is he gonna swing something? Apparently not. Uh, okay, my turn. So yeah, I can play both of those out as blockers. So let's uh, let's swing a ding, swingy, swingy. Uh, okay, taking uh, taking six with three poison counters. All right. 
Oh! He's doing a thing. I guess he did that just to kill my dude. I'll try not to take that super personally. This red-green aggro deck has been surprisingly good. Um, and he is he has definitely got lethal all over him at this point. Sure. Yep. Um That does not... Yep, okay, well. I was trying to figure out what he was doing, but apparently he was just... killing himself. And we are one win away from having silver on this account on day one of drafting. And uh, that's that's pretty darn good. Um, two wins, zero losses so far. I think, uh, I think we shall continue. Lucky Luke. No offense, Luke, but I hope you're not lucky. Um, okay, that's it's not bad. Halberd on two into Aspirant feels pretty good. A five five minutes reach later on. Seems seems decent. And he has a forest. We have a 2 2 trample first strike. Grr. Um, yeah, let's see uh, if they want to block or take two. Seems good. Sure. Nice. Yeah, they should have swung that. Don't know why they didn't. Put up the two lands from among them onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, if you draw fewer than two lands onto the battlefield this way, proliferate. Uh, any number of times equal to the difference. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll go one of each. Which means we have uh, the Sky Warden online next turn. Which is, uh, which is pretty good. And uh, I don't think we attack into that. That uh, seems silly. do much for us, so I think we just sit back and uh, let our Sky Warden start beating face. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was silly. Anything to do with that, uh, we'll say next, and we'll enter. Oh, I should have played the second aspirant. What was I thinking? Um, let's say no. Uh, 
that's interesting. Now he might gang block that. Okay, yeah. Still got to declare two blockers. Yep, I think I'm good with that. That totally happens. Do you has the more? who I'm sending. It's that guy. I must have ordered that backwards. I think we swing here just to get in for four. He's been on the back foot so long I don't even think he knows how to attack at this point. Fusling. Now we enter. All right, another win. Got to love it. And we made silver just like that. Butemus. What do we get? All right, there we go. That's a thing. Uh, so three wins once again uh, with a pile of jank. I am loving it. We will just keep putting our plate forward and allowing our opponents to add more and more gravy. I'm a little surprised we won that last one. Uh, I think just being overly aggressive actually accidentally paid off for us because they definitely had answers. Um, sure, that's a, that's an awful lot like a curve, a one, two, three, uh, we'll keep it. Here's Fusling. Why not? That'll be a thing. And uh, wow, they are they are doing a lot of nothing. What do you want to bet they pop in response? Is it is it? No, they didn't. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Feel pretty good about the board state right now. Let's see what we 
get here. Okay. They were not uh, falling for our Fusling trick. I can respect that. Not sure what our opponent's got going on here. I mean, their board state isn't great, but I mean, it's a little early for roping. They might be a little upset that they're, uh, they're still bronze and we just made silver and we got paired. They might They might feel a certain way about that. And they're done. All right, that's uh, that, that's four wins here. Wow, incredible. Bad Spanish. That's what you get here. All right, let's put that plate across the table one more time. We definitely have biscuits left, so uh, I want some gravy. That is how this works. Where are our opponents? This is the real question. I mean, is it so early in the season that they're having a hard time finding silver opponents for us? That can't possibly be what's happening, right? My goodness, over a minute in pairing. That is wild. Well, they did finally find us someone. And and their gold rank. Awesome. Yeah, that's not at all unfair here. Um this is this is not feeling like a great hand either, but we shall attempt. Alright, scamp is not a bad way to start. Don't feel terrible about that. We got uh, a couple oil things going on here. Okay, not the worst. Um, do I attack? Uh, I'm gonna say no there. So, in reality, we have four mana, but... And we're gonna say no attack. Okay, interesting. Yep, I see why they're doing well. Uh, let's see, they can't effectively block that, so we'll we'll send him in. Absolutely.
It also can't block the Sky Warden next turn, so that's seven. That'll be pretty good. Oh, well, okay. N now they can. I guess we're just gonna have to do some wipage right quick. Um... You know what? I'm not gonna risk this being a trap. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the poison counters. Oh boy, that was uh that was bad beats. There's uh there's no question about that. Um let's see here. That also was the bad beats. Oh, I should have sent the scamp too. I don't know what I was thinking about. All right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a win. And I am pretty excited about that. Especially to be up against a gold player, that was uh, that was pretty startling. Uh, sure, we'll take that. That is that is win number five. Awesome. Let's uh, let's do it again. Cause we are we are still zero losses. Maybe I wasn't actually looking. Um, I guess you play every game like you have zero losses, right? Evil hex. Um. Wow, that is that is probably the worst hand I have seen with this deck. Um, that that is better. And do we do we throw back the long legs? I think I think maybe so. Yep, we will keep throw the long legs and we'll throw a fusling out there to do things just like that. Alright, four power on the board does not feel bad. Really doesn't. Yep, okay. Am I am I okay trading either one of these? Honestly, I think I am. Yep, that is the correct choice. Uh, a 3-2 Menace. I think it's going to be okay next turn. Or uh, do I expand the Spheres? That's a, that's a tough call. Uh, well, they got no blockers now, so let's get in for four. And we'll go ahead and expand. Uh, lucky there. We, we hit it just like we always knew it was there. Um... Can't actually equip that, so let's uh, let's intern. I don't know why it was highlighting that. Zealot, sure. We get in for an easy two here. Drop the warden and a fusling. And we'll intern. Oh, yeah, he's a big boy. De definitely a big boy.
Not sure I understood that. Um, Being aggressive has worked for us with this deck, and they are gonna they are gonna take the easy blocks, I guess. Looks that way, yeah. They are, they are taking eight. And um do we move this? I think we do. Cause they are they are kinda in trouble here. Okay, alright. That is a thing you can do. Definitely. Gonna gonna hit me for seven in the air, and then and then uh, actually they they might have other creatures. We'll, we'll see what they got going on here. Okay, sure. Damn right, I want to take that action. Sure. And they are at one. Ooh, that hurt. Hey, Grady, good to see you, man. I hadn't seen you on a live stream in a minute. All right, let's see. Can we get it done? It's not looking that way. All right, I think this is our first loss. It's all your fault, Grady. No, I'm just kidding, man. Thanks for being here. I think I think that is our first loss, though. We'll see. Don't don't work it all off, man. You got to keep a little bit of that. If, uh, if only for the ladies or the fellas or, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna, we're gonna dip in here again. Let's see if we can force our way into, um, into uh, a six or seven win here. That would, that would be awesome. Um, I've been really disappointed with this card so far. Um, Aspirant doesn't feel great on three. Not, uh, I'm not loving this. But I'm not uh, sure. I, I hate it enough to mulligan it. Uh, I am indeed. I am indeed. Uh, always in a fun mood, man. It is. It has been pouring rain where I am all day, and I'm so glad it's the the first week of uh, quick drafting, so I can just feel good about staying indoors all day long. Terramorphic. Okay, so they're uh, they're going to do a slow roll thing here too. Um, well, that's a that's a nice heavy hit or late. Blight. Man, if we can if we can get to four mana, we're uh, we're feeling pretty good here. No joke. Sure. That is that is definitely a thing. Damn, that is not what I wanted. All right, they're uh, they're coming uh, fast and furious here. Um, do we just 
take the blight belly, or do we risk the block? Uh, I'm gonna say no blocks. Let's just let's just take it. I smell a combat trick. Yep, today is uh, is first day for quick drafts of one. Twelve rares. Wow. And two wins. That is uh, that is not too shabby at all. Say hello to Mr. Ford at the face. That's a that's a lot of damage. We uh, we can't do that again. Which means I I think we just lose this one. I think that's about what's gonna happen here. Um. Now, if they're smart, they'll just take this damage. But if they want to be fancy and block, we might steal a win here. Oh my goodness. They're gonna do the thing. I cannot believe they did the thing. Right about now is when they're realizing they could have won. Oh, they still win. Okay, well played. I think we get one more shot at this. But hey, you know what? 5-3, I'll take that shit. There's, uh, there's no question about that. Yep, we got at least one more shot here. Let's, let's try and make it count. Let's, uh, let's try and do the thing. Another long wait here. There we go. We got somebody about the 30 second mark. Hopefully they're not platinum. No, okay, all right, they're, they're silver. At least I think that's silver, right? Um, all right, that, uh, that could curve out pretty decently. We'll make an attempt here. Yep, okay. So I don't think we'll be swinging. What, what has he got? I mean, he's got like two and a half mana, kind of. All right, he's got himself a canker bloom. All right, all right. I think we just developed the board state here. We have a lot more. Uh, yep, yeah, we're gonna say no attack attack. No attack attack. All right now he's got some mana. I would love to draw and be able to play two mana. Unfortunately, that is not uh, how that works. Uh, we did have some drop frame there. I'm not sure what happened. It uh, it might just be 
glitchy internet where I'm at. I think we try and push into the red zone here. Yeah, I'm actually on um, Google's uh, broadband, and every once in a while it'll it'll glitch a little bit on their fiber optic, whatnot. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're gonna intern there. So being able to swing 10 next turn uh, feels pretty good. I'm not sure what they might play, but we'll see what we get here. Uh, all right, that's, that's not the worst thing that could happen. They will have an opportunity for a chump block. Yep, I think we send everybody sideways. I think I think that's what we do here. We'll uh, invite them to block the fuse lane. Because I'd rather get eight in. Yep. I do not mind when people are predictable. Now if we just draw land the next turn... Okay, sure. I find your terms acceptable. they do with the sack here. Okay. They're gonna give themselves a 3-3. Three, three. That's, uh, that's not terrible. Interesting. Not enough to really do anything with, unfortunately. Um, so let's do what Gruel does and turn people sideways. Okay, they're gonna trade and take more damage. Yeah, 
And uh, let's go ahead and put the sword down. So he basically has to play a white creature here to survive. <laughs> yeah. That is not a white creature, sir. He sacked it. And that is colorless. Alright. That's that's interesting. Um, I think we just let's go ahead and, and use up his sack token. Sure. So he's got at least one more turn after this, because he can create another token. <laughs> indeed, indeed I am, Grady. Sick that bot guy. Um, is he not gonna, is he not gonna make a token? Okay. Watch him do it instant speed. Oh, activate only as a sorcery. Does he has other tricks? Yes, yes he does. Let's go get uh, some mana sources so we can get big nasty dudes coming out here any minute. He's got a battle chair. Yep, indeedy. You, sir, are dead. You may not know it yet, but you are dead. Go ahead, make your beast token. Prepare to block. Wow, you are you are gonna get aggressive? Really? Guess what? I am gonna take six, like a champ. Now does he just concede because he know he's dead, or does he still think he's alive? Ooh, he played a white creature. He got there. He definitely, definitely did. Do you care to block? I think you better. Um, sure. Now he needs a lot of defense. A lot. I do not think he has a way out here because his incubation sack is empty. He's uh, officially shooting blanks. I mean, he can definitely hit me for six here, but I don't think he can end the game. And we kind of 
kind of have five and seven. That's uh, a lot like 12 if my accounting skills are up to par. And that is much more than four. He's gonna draw cards. Desperate times call for drawing cards. I mean, he really should uh, sacrifice the Basilica too, let's be honest. Oh, oh, he's got stuff. He does have the things. We're gonna take six. We're gonna say no blocks. So what do we got? Seven mana going on here? Okay. He's got he's got almost nothing. There it is. All right. I think that's six wins here. Did that did that just happen? Are we in a 7-2 a position, possibly? Thanks for uh, for verifying the math skills, Grady. I, I always need somebody to check my work. Uh, let's see here. Six wins. Yeah, we, uh, we might accidentally go 7-2 seven, seven here. Let's see. Or will we be severely disappointed? Uh, actually, both the creatures uh, had menace, if I remember correctly. So uh, he was damned if he did and damned if he didn't. I, I thought he might have instant speed removal in his hand of some sort, but the way he was drawing cards um, made me think that he just didn't have anything. Where is our opponent? Oh, here we go. All right. Only 40 seconds to find that match. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, and they're a silver rank. All right. Here we go, guys. Got to gotta get our seven on. Um, and that, that curve feels really good. Not going to lie. Oh, yeah, laundry. I hate that. And uh, I don't know if I'm in different rankings. I like it. I'll take it. Uh, it's just it's just how I'm willing to be here. Uh, let's see. I think we play the Canker Bloom here. We'll just uh, continue to build board state here. I've definitely noticed you see a lot more blue at the lower ranks than you do at the higher ranks. That's uh, that's going to be pretty later on. Um, I feel a little bad about doing this, but not terribly. And I'm going to offer a trade here on the Fusling. I think it's the right move in the long run. Hopefully he can't save it. I'm going to be very upset. Oh, yeah. Your opponents definitely get harder as you uh, you move up in your win categories. There's no doubt about that. Um, okay. I have no idea why he did that. Instead of killing the Fusling... Ah, okay, well that would be why. Reading the card. Um, sure. Still okay with that. In fact, that kind of worked out exactly the same as the other way around, but whatever. Uh, and a canker bloom. All right. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's throw a Centurion on out there. We got ourselves a sack. Oh yeah. I'm gonna push. Let's see. Uh, let's see if he wants to make the trade. My guess is he doesn't. No. Okay. I'm all right with that. What's he got for his turn four? Because what he doesn't know is, I don't have another mana. Lattice, okay. Oh, oh, that's, uh, that's a little bit like mana. Um, I think I'm willing to take this trade. Okay, he wasn't. All right. One more mana and we get uh, a big beefy beater. So we're definitely getting in for two. We can make a 3-3 three, three golem. Either of those feels pretty good. The rabble rouser, uh-oh. That's like blocking situations. Oh, no, he's gonna swing, okay. say no blocks. Sure. Welcome to the beef zone. And a canker bloom. Awesome. Oh boy. Alright, so Menace is kinda out the window. Not super relevant. Really? Um yeah, we are we are gonna do that right there. That's interesting. All right. is not quite sure what to do. He took it. Okay, interesting. Uh, we end turn. Now, as long as he can't kill either one of my creatures, we should be able to win this. Does he have tricks? Of course he has tricks. That is what he does. 
So there we go, guys. Uh, seven, or excuse me, six and three, six and three. Uh, that is that is okay by me. I am totally all right with that. We didn't quite make gold, not yet anyway, but we're gonna do a few more drafts on this account. Let's claim those prizes, 850 and double packs. That is, that is super awesome. And folks, before you go, make sure you've subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on a thing. Because I know I can't change the magic economy all by myself, but I think we can.